guys. So yesterday I had a really good time at this lake in about an hour and a half. I hooked up with somewhere around 10 or 12 largemouths. Uh, so we're gonna kind of try to recreate that or at least get a lot of action. So we're gonna be going with the uh, St. Croix Legend, Legend Elite Panfish uh, Ultralight. And our lure is gonna be the same one we used yesterday, a little Anisoptera soft plastic from Euro Tackle on a small 132nd ounce jig head. So I had a blast of a time yesterday. Let's see if we can make the same thing happen again. All right, let's cast this thing out. Hope the sun goes down soon because it is really bright right here. We'll cast that, we'll let it sink, work it back slowly with some little twitches of the rod tip here and there. Let's see if we can get some fish. That seemed to work yesterday. Oh, fish on. Little guy, little largemouth. He's down in the weeds. Ah, just like yesterday, these weeds make fishing here tough. Oh no, it's not a largemouth. It's a little mine. Alright, thought we had a largemouth at first, but our first fish of the day is a little mine cichlid. So first, I guess technically kind of panfish that I got here in my last two trips. But we'll let it go and let's keep going. Not a bad start in the first five minutes. We got our first fish. All right, just like yesterday, we're off to a pretty good start. Casting out right past that drop off, letting it sink and then slowly working it back in. And once it hits these kind of weedy areas, there's some fish waiting to ambush it. Fish on. Let's get this guy in here. Little large mouth. Just keep him out of the weeds. We should be good. And come on up here. Alrighty, fish number two, another little large mouth like the ones I was catching yesterday. So not much size, but we're not going for much size. Just good to get some action. So we'll let this one go and let's keep going. Alright, two down. Let's keep working the uh, same te techniques. Not working as well as it was yesterday. But still producing a couple fish here. So it's casting out, letting it sink, working it right through all these weeds, kind of on the edge of the weed line, which I love to fish. Love fishing the edges of the weed lines a lot. That's where a lot of these hits today and yesterday have been coming from. Oh, like that. Little guy. Come on up here, largemouth. All right, right as I kind of pulled this thing through the weed line into an opening, this guy came in and hit it. So nice fish, <laughs> little guy, but I think the little guys are still pretty cute. They look pretty nice. So it's roughly 30 minutes later now since that last fish. I made my way around the entire section of the lake here and got nothing to show for it. So action is definitely slower than it was yesterday. Had, I think, five hits today. I'll fish here for a little bit, then I'm gonna head back to that first spot where I started where all the action came earlier today and also yesterday. Back where we started definitely less action today than yesterday but let's try to get one more here at least before it's time to call it a day alrighty last cast here doesn't look like we're gonna get anything so a little bit of a disappointing day but let's talk about it That's gonna do a little bit of a disappointing day. Caught three fish, missed at least two more hits. So in an hour and a half, three fish, a little disappointing, but not awful. 
all the fish came kind of right on the edge of where the drop off uh, begins and where the weed line begins. So right kind of in that open water, there's uh, I'm sure a lot of fish hanging out in the weeds and kind of under the drop off, waiting for something to kind of swim up there in the open, like my little uh, Anisoptera soft plastic, so they could come out and grab it. So that produced all the fish. Love fishing weed lines, love fishing drop offs. There's usually a lot of fish there. And these last two days, that, that just kind of proved it. So that's something I always look out for. Hope you guys liked it, and I will see you next time.